Hi everyone and welcome at Heat Supplies Hot Sauce Reviews. My name is Freek. And I am Stan. Today we are reviewing the Pepper North Stargazer Hot Sauce. Yep. From Canada, Ontario. Yeah, also Ontario, like Dawson's and Heartbeat. So like they really that. know how to make some hot sauce. It's uh, the hot sauce uh, state of Canada. Yeah, I think so. Awesome. It has also been on Hot Ones. A couple of seasons back. Yeah. I don't know which season, but it was on the seventh spot, I think. So it should be pretty hot. Yeah, I think so too. Um, yeah, I already had a peek at the ingredients, so that already tells you that it will be hot. Yep. Let's just go over the ingredients. Yeah. Uh, jalapeno peppers, scotch bonnet peppers, ghost peppers, apple cider vinegar, sugars uh, from maple syrup, garlic, lime juice, sea salt, and chipotle peppers. So. A lot of peppers. <laughs> yeah, a lot first of three ingredients are all peppers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, jalapeno pepper is the first, so maybe that softens the blow a little bit, but. Maybe a bit, but also the jalapeno is pretty. Yeah, it's yeah. pungent. Yeah, and it's right. immediate. It's immediate, exactly. While the ghost pepper is very slow, so it probably will be a smoke show from start to finish. <laughs> exactly. Yep, uh, so um, yeah. Pretty, uh, <laughs> yeah, we have never tried it before. No, this so is a first time reaction, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, let's uh, have a look at the consistency. Then, yeah, um, you, you can already see it's very chunky, yes, it's, it's thick and it's chunky. Yeah, yeah, you can expect that with a sauce that has all kinds of peppers as their first ingredients, yeah. so it, yeah, they, they will be the biggest part of the sauce, so it will be chunky. Yo, let's pour it on a spoon and see how this one goes. I'm not going to put too much on it. So actually the consistency is not... It's less chunky than I expected. Exactly. Yeah, so it's less <laughs> thick than we thought it would be. Yeah. I actually kind of like it, the consistency okay. like this. Yeah, it comes up pretty, pretty easily actually. You can. There are some chunks in it. Yeah. I think that's. But that just today. that just tells me that it's more. Of a, I al already have a feeling when a sauce is chunky that it's more of a quality sauce or something. Mm. Yeah. But bit. I also think it's quite an achievement when you make like a really good um, smooth sauce. I also really like that with. Just yeah, that's the eating true. experience is yeah. better for me. But let's have a smell. Yeah. Yeah, you can really smell the super hot in this one. So the ghost pepper, you smell that one? Yeah, it's just the combination of the peppers, which is really dominant. Yeah, it's for very... me, it's really the ghost pepper that I smell. Um, yeah, that's actually just the, the, the pepper that I smell. Yeah, I can't really smell the chipotle or the uh, no, not really. jalapeno or the scotch bonnet. Yeah, you can for me it's a ghost pepper, man. You can also really pick up the okay, really you can pick up the apple cider vinegar and the garlic a bit. Yeah. It's it's it smells for me it smells like a ghost pepper sauce. Yeah. With yeah, with vinegar. But um, let's see if we can also taste yeah, the are, other peppers and the uh, chipotle. Yeah, and I'm curious if, if the maple syrup will give it a sweet touch or that yeah, it will I hope completely so. disappear in the in the pepper madness. Yeah, so let's try. Yeah. At first, you really can pick up the maple syrup, actually. Yeah, it has a sweet note, but yeah. <coughs> then it ramps up, which, the, which will be the, go the ghost yeah. pepper that's attacking the back of the throat right now. Yeah, I, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the ghost pepper of the flavor. And no, I kind of agree, but I, I don't know what it is. But it's a it's the earthy flavor or so. Bitter or something. Yeah. It's just super aggressive. But on the other side, this one ha also has jalapeno and scotch bonnets and chipotle. So this, these give, give the sauce a bit more depth. Yeah, true. And an all round burn. So it, it starts at the beginning already mm -hmm. because of the jalapeno probably. And then the ghost pepper is uh, taking over. But, but I do really get the sweet. Sweetness. Yeah. yeah, exactly. At the, at the beginning. Yeah. Afterwards, yeah, when the pepper starts to take over, yeah, that's pretty dominant. Yep. But um, yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it, it has some sweetness. 
Uh, absolutely. So that's, yeah, it's, it just gives this a sauce. This sauce is pretty good balance and yeah. round flavor. So that's, if you like ghost pepper sauces, this one's a good one. Really good. Yeah, but uh, let's go to the four dimensions. Yep. The flavors. Acidity. Not yeah. really acidic, but it's also not, not acidic. It's a medium level, so yeah. it's definitely a two. Yeah, two out of three. Um, for sweetness. Maybe also a two. I think also a two. Definitely for a ghost pepper sauce. This is yeah. pretty sweet, so yeah, yeah, two as well. Yeah, it's also a really tasty kind of sweet. Maybe it sounds a bit weird, but it's just a maple syrup, which I really like. Yeah, it's a different it's kind of sweet. It's not yeah. just sugar. It's yeah. It's really good. Sugar with flavor. Yeah. So a two out of three on sweetness. Smokiness, um, also a bit. I mean, I, th I think also a two because of the chipotle. Yeah. And, uh, it does. It's uh, the last ingredient, the chipotle pepper, but still you <coughs> can yeah, definitely taste the smoky flavors yeah. of it. Two. Yeah, two out of three. And the savoriness, also pretty savory. Yeah. Um, not a three, I no. think. This this is a two sauce. I no. think also a two. It's very all around. On yeah. All kind of dimensions. Exactly. So this is also a two one. And, um, it has some lime juice, but that's. Oh, it definitely won't be a two. Garlic, sea really. salt. No, it will not. But yeah, I think also a two for savoriness. Yeah. So, what was the two score on everything? Uh, yes. Yeah. So. But it's, yeah, it's, it's pr qu quitty, 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 quitty. Quitty. It's quitty. My mouth is watering. <coughs> it is quite hot still. It's pretty all round for a ghost pepper sauce. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a great rounded out sauce. Yeah. My flavor is balanced. Cool. I agree. The heat. Um, yeah, it's pretty hot. Um, it is pretty hot. I think this would be like a seven. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, it wasn't a really big a big spoon that I took, but... No, for me as well. I mean, it wasn't a full uh, teaspoon. It was quite full, but not entirely full. But yeah, it is. Um, it was I, I, quite I'm aggressive with the ghost pepper for a yeah. minute. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm doubting between a seven, seven and an eight, to be honest. Yeah, I was actually doubting about that too. So I don't know if we can go for the middle ground. Yeah, let's one. do a 7.5. Yeah, 7.5 on heat. This is still burning actually. Yeah. Um, also on the lips. Yeah, I mean, it was really on the back of the throat for me in the beginning, but yeah, it kind of took over the entire mouth. And if yeah. you touch your lips, your lips will burn as well. So, yeah. so uh, 7.5 on heat. Yeah. And how to combine this sauce is also, I find that really hard yeah. to tell with, with, the, with these really hot sauces. True. These, these hot sauces, I would mainly use these to cook with. Yeah. So in a soup to give it a little bit of... Or in a chili or in a sauce. Yeah. But, um, but actually this could also, if you really like... Uh, a, like a chili addict or something. Um, this mm. one is really good on, on meat as well. I think yeah. on red meat. I think on, on could a burger work very well on burgers. And yeah, I this think really it could also work on um, maybe some tacos or something, but then with beef. Yeah, exactly. Mainly because it's not only hot, it also has some sweetness. So this really enriches the flavor of the beef. Yeah. So yeah, I think on red meat, this is pretty good. Yeah. I think those things we just mentioned would be yeah. pretty so good. With is, well. Yeah, during cooking um, or just meat, red meat or something. By the way. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, I agree. Sure. I agree. Okay, so yeah, if you want to order this hot sauce, you go to heatsupply.nl and get it there. So that was this week's uh, hot sauce review. Uh, we'll do a new one next week on Tuesday. Every Tuesday we will have a hot sauce review. So if you don't want to miss out on any of them, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification button so you will never miss one. Yep. And uh, yeah, we hope to see you next week for the next hot sauce review. Yeah, bye bye. bye.